Recently, I had a web design client ask me what software I recommend for recording sermons in church. Now, this is something everybody does, at least every church I've ever been a part of does. I've been in churches where people are still recording to cassettes. Um, I've been in churches where people used like crazy Windows bloatware to record their sermons that basically did nothing. Um, and, uh, you know, I've been in churches that spent a lot of money on this. Uh, as far as professional software goes, you get a couple options. Um, Apple has a program called Logic. It's uh, very expensive and does tons of stuff, but you don't need it. Uh, I wouldn't spend money on that. Um, Adobe has something that's part of the Creative Cloud called Adobe Audition. Um, it is very good, and if you have the Adobe Creative Cloud, you know there's no sense in not using it. You unless you know you just don't want to teach people how to use it, um, but Adobe Creative Cloud is expensive and it never goes away. Uh, it's a cost that never goes away. And I dropped it about a year and a half ago. And so I, you know, I, I don't recommend that either. Okay. The program that most people have uh, is called Audacity. And Audacity is a great program. It's a free program, open source, cross platform. It will run on Windows, Mac, Linux, anything. Um, and uh, here's Audacity. I have, I, I really, you know, I, we've used Audacity in the past and it's pretty good. Um, it, the, my, my problem with Audacity is a couple things. Um, first, I, I really don't like the interface. Um, I just think it's a little bit too busy and kind of ugly. And for me, that's, that's a problem. And the, the problem with the busy, ugly interface is that most of the time you have a volunteer, maybe someone that's not super tech savvy that's doing this stuff. And they look at this and they just get, you know, a little bit intimidated. Um, my second problem with Audacity is that out of the box, it doesn't export to MP3s. You have to download extra software, and I don't really care for that. And then the third thing is I, I don't like the fact that you have to export. You can't just save the file uh, as an MP3. You have to always export audio. I know there's a reason for that, but I just don't care for it. And so, But Audacity does a lot of stuff, super powerful software. In fact, just as powerful, really, as uh, Audition and um, almost as powerful as logic, but uh, that's one option. All right. On the other end of the spectrum, um, there's a Mac app I've used sometimes called KVLT, and um, KVLT I think it costs like a dollar ninety nine or something like that, some very small amount of money. It's it's Mac only, um, but all it does is record. And when I when I was doing the daily podcast, I used this program. Basically, you just hit record. Um, but you can't, you know, cut out the middle of a, of, of something when you're done. You have to bring it into another program like Audacity. Um, basically, it's just good for recording and seeing the waveform as you record, and very easy to export to MP3, you know, AAC, WAV, whatever you want to export to. So that's an option. The the third one, one that I just recently found that I really like and has become my choice and my recommendation is a program called Oaken Audio. Um, and Oaken Audio is this, this is the interface. You get the waveform right here when you're recording. Here, I'll record for you. Um, you just choose your bit rate and whatnot. Uh, you get your waveform right here as you're recording. It couldn't be much simpler, okay? Um, when you're finished, you know, you have all kinds of different things that you can do. It has many of the effects that you expect in a, in a better program um, like Audacity, um, but I just think it's the, the interface couldn't be simpler. You can make this go away if you want to, um, and, and it's just super simple. And so I like that. The other thing I like about it is when you're done with it, you can just go save as um, and choose MP3 and I think that's just a little bit more transparent than the Audacity way. And so this is my, my choice. Um, Oaken Audio. You can get it at okenaudio.com.br. Um, and it is not, you know, you're looking at the Mac version here, but it's not a Mac-only program. It's actually cross-platform. You can get it for Windows. You can get it for Linux. Um, it just got, got a lot of good features. And uh, that's my recommendation. I think you should check it out.